I thought I'd try to sit out here. It's 87 degrees. I've got quite a bit of cold stuff because I did a Walmart pickup. I think the last time... I think the last time I had a Walmart pickup, I think was on May 30th before Sherry and I went to Nashville. I did not do one at all in June. And uh, mainly I think it's cold items because once I put all the cold items up here, I thought, yeah, that and the water, that might be about it. But I thought I'd show you. This is some of my usual stuff for us. Some of it not quite usual but with school being out it's a quick fix when uh i'm slow going and we like them bacon and egg bacon egg and cheese croissants good deal cheaper than if you go out to eat them uh i think they were a little over five dollars and when you go to burger king and i think they taste about the same they're two for five when they're on special. There's four in here. 3.66 ounces. Show it to you now. And that way when I go in, I can stick them in the freezer. This one was a substitution. I think I ordered the buttermilk waffles. But these are the home style waffles. And there's 24 in a pack. The box is a little... Well, I'll keep it that far right. 24 in a box. Don't remember how much I gave. I think it was three something. But again, it's summertime. Got kids at the house. A lot of times we just need stuff that's quick. I don't feel guilty. <laughs> I don't. But I try to get at least stuff that's fairly good. The croissants and waffles. One pack of hot dogs. I think I still got a pack in the freezer, but just in case, because that's one thing I haven't checked yet. I bought one pack of Oscar Mayer wieners. One pack. Yeah. You know, summertime, you got to have hot dogs. One pint, no, one quart of milk. Good to August 6th of 2024. Better milk, that is. I was going to try to get the Southern Biscuit Complete Mix, and they were out of it. And I was going to have it shipped to the house. They were out of it. So, as soon as I can get some of the Southern, I think it's called Complete Biscuit Mix, bought it in the individual. I did. Still have one. So, uh, yeah. I really like that that particular biscuit mix. About two, down to my last little bit, because I think I just bought one plus what I had. So, two of the Great Value Sugar-Free French Vanilla Creamers. I think I can still taste a little bit of a difference in this than the regular, but one tablespoon's 20 calories. And trying to watch a little bit because my sugar level sometimes it goes kind of up and down. And also, from what I understand, if my memory serves me right, eating too much in carbohydrates a lot of times, carbohydrates will turn into sugar. Haven't bought in a while. I have it in other forms, but I wanted some celery because I like to use celery like my mom used to in different kind of salads. No, I ain't doing it for the 4th of July, even though you're probably going to see this after because I'm exhausted. Between everything that's been going on for over a month after having been sick so long, I think I've done fairly decent. I'm just tired. Anyway, I plan on using the celery. For Michelle, I'm supposed to take a few items. I've got potatoes here. I could make some potato salad, but I didn't want to wake up in the morning and think, I didn't make that potato salad. I fell asleep. So I got some freshness guaranteed potato salad. The deviled egg, normally I get the mustard style or the Amish, but for some reason I picked the deviled egg. 
and I know it'll get a, it's, it's a good potato salad. Is it homemade? No. But when you have little get up and go and you need to contribute stuff, you'll do it however you can. I only bought one of these. I don't, watching the kittens, I don't crave it like I did when I was sick back in January, February, and March. Haven't had it since the last pickup. Fisher's liver cheese wrapped in pork fat. I just bought one. Trying to be good, not not eat as much, because if I have this, I eat it. I eat a lot of it. <laughs> For the boys, I got them some black forest ham, a pound of it. Comes in two individual eight ounce packaging but this is their favorite the black forest so if i'm gonna get mine i have to get theirs and then we all like bologna especially right now especially once my tomatoes get red they're not red yet mama what you looking so serious about <laughs> I don't know what she, but I got one of the Oscar Mayer bologna, 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 original 16 ounces. Make a quick, uh, bologna and cheese, mayonnaise, tomato sandwich. Will I be able to do that since I'm out of cheese in the house? I believe I bought some. I just don't see it yet. I've got, I've got uh, plenty of shredded cheese. It's just that we finished off the, finished off the sliced cheese. One package, two count. It's one pound of the beef steak tomatoes. That's the first time I think I've ever seen. Did I ever see it say 16 ounces? Way down there way down there but they look they look good i didn't pick these out but they look good two beef steak tomatoes good for our sandwiches and also good for when kenny and eli won't eat it i do when we have cheeseburgers and stuff like i said my tomatoes they're coming on good they're just not red yet my sister-in-law like Sister-in-law was talking about this when she was here. Laquita talking about, I think it was her, about how romaine lettuce, you would think that it was a lot uh, you'd think that it'd be a lot more expensive than like a head of lettuce. But she said in the long run, it's really good per price and it has a good better bite to it so i bought some romaine this time foxy romaine lettuce you get three three romaine hearts so that i got that so i'll see how i do with that yeah this i was missing this i needed some and I don't care that I get it shredded up because it beats having to shred it. Good till July 13th, so pretty good long day. Of course, it'll go past that because I take it out of the pack, sit it in an airtight bowl with paper towel, and it can last a month at least. Tricolor coleslaw, a pound. Yeah, I bought two of them. Got to get back into my coleslaw. Well, when I say my coleslaw, I don't necessarily mean with all the lettuce, I mean mayonnaise and stuff, but my coleslaw mixture, I do mean. That's all I have in here right now. I know I've got some more coast stuff, so I'm going to run this in the house or get the boys help me run this in the house, put it up, and I'll come back out because I want to get this Walmart haul done. I only really do one a month, the biggest one. This is it. Am I breathing hard? I'm back. I got all that cold stuff put up.
come back out here just to find out where the rest of the cold stuff is. Like I said, it's just mainly a fill-in. I still have plenty of staples here at the house, and I need my money for other things. But I did crave a rotisserie chicken. So I got one rotisserie chicken, and we'll have it like... Sometimes I'll barbecue it, or we'll have it with gravy and mashed potatoes. Sometimes I make chicken salad out of it. So, one rotisserie chicken will come in handy. And here's some more of my cold stuff. I knew I had more cold stuff. No, that ain't my cold stuff. Where is my cold stuff? I guess I'll put it in the floor. Yep. I don't know why I did that. Great American Singles Cheese. I bought three of the 12 ounce packages. And they're good till December 8th, the 24th. Of course, Lexi gets cheese treat pretty much every day. Lately, it's had to be um, grated cheese because I didn't have any sliced cheese. I had ran out. To go to Michelle's on the 4th, buy an original macaroni salad. Again, I could make it one of these days. I'll show you, y'all. I know how to do it, but I'm still tired. Uh, we've had a lot going on. Yeah, a lot going on. So, uh, I want to contribute to the 4th of July picnic cookout. But, energy-wise, I was afraid. To push. Well, I probably could have done it. Who? 32 ounces macaroni salad. I know we're having hot dogs and chili and I missed this too. And you know what? I don't think I bought. I must not thought cottage cheese was important right now. Because I don't see cottage cheese. And I love cottage cheese. I only bought two Greek vanilla yogurt, the lot, my favorite yogurt, great value, my favorite taste in yogurt, good to eight, nine of 24. I bought two containers, 32 ounces. They say five servings. That's about right, one a week, and only bought two. But that's all right. I can snack on something else because, you know, I've got a pantry that needs to be used up. And that's the whole purpose of cutting back on a few items because I really, really want to try and use up what I have. I have a gallon of milk down here. One gallon of whole milk. I'm not going to get out just to pick that up. Y'all know what whole milk looks like. And I got enough bananas for Kenny to have some bananas in the morning. Eli, if he wants it. Normally, Eli don't eat just plain banana. He likes it when it's with something. So, plan on making a banana pudding. He'll eat it that way. He'll eat it in a banana split. It's the texture of it by itself. But I've got a whole bag of bananas. And a dozen, yeah, I decided he needed a dozen of his pies. He's been out of pies, and the good thing is I had cherry pie filling. Some of it was from Hugo, some of it was from uh, Dollar Tree, and I don't know where the rest of it was from, but, you know, and I had plenty of stuff to make the cake or toppings for it, so I did that. They've squeezed about squeeze this pie open on this one. I was going to show you. Most of y'all know what these look like. I get them so much. But it's good to 7, 16, or 24. And I bought a dozen. They can go in the, the freezer. They're just these. He likes these and a banana every morning. For brunch, around 12, 1, he'll say, may I have my oatmeal? Or I'd like to have my oatmeal. And it's oatmeal, eggs, and toast. And then we have supper. And that's how he eats now that he's retired. So I got those. Elon, I don't really... Those used to be my favorite pies. 
somehow or another, I'm doing pretty good on resisting. Maybe because I hide them from myself. Okay. Some more food items. Cheaper than the Dollar Tree. I think it's a dollar ninety-eight or something for twelve frosted brown sugar cinnamon toaster pastries. Twenty point three ounces. No high fructose corn syrup. My husband can have these. He tries to stay away from it. And sometimes I let it slide through. And this is one of Eli's favorites. And like I said, there's 12 in here. And it's, I think, like $1.98. So it'd be cheaper than the, than the Dollar Tree. Can't keep my vanilla wafers. I try to buy about a box every time I go to the Dollar Tree. But it's only a, what, six or seven ounce box. And by the time they snack on it, it don't take long to get gone. This is a, an 11 ounce box, great value. And I think ounce for ounce is probably about the same price. Walmart might be a tad higher, I don't know. But I was going to Walmart, so I ordered it. And even though I couldn't get the Southern Biscuit Complete Mix, they've got one that's complete. All you have to do is add the milk. And I've got it in the individual. They did have the Southern Biscuit Self-Rising Flour, pre-sifted, enriched, and bleached. But it doesn't have the butter and such in it like the other one that just wants the milk. You have to add uh, vegetable shortening butter or lard in your buttermilk. Mainly it's Mainly the difference between this and the mix is the butter. I wonder if I could use my shelf stable butter. Is that what they, for, you know, dehydrated butter? I may have to try that. But I wanted one of these to try. And I was needing some flour. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it might have been a little bit more. And I don't see the date on it. Oh, I do. 1227 to 24. So I'll stick it in the freezer for a couple of days. Make sure nothing, nothing's in it. Or if it is, it's not in it long. And then I'm going to make some homemade biscuits. Because like I said, the Southern Complete Biscuit Mix is really good. Just about done. Can you tell I'm sweating? I am sweating. One of these to, oh, my lids must have dropped, it. somebody must have dropped it or something. The lid's a little broke on it, but it's still sealed. Craft Thousand Island Fat-Free Dressing. Made with real pickles. And that's good. I use this on my coleslaw mix. I use this on my hamburger mix. Uh, for hamburger, I do, and uh, sandwich mixes. It's become one of my favorites, so I had to get one of those. I better hurry. It's hot. I got a couple of these because I can put one in the pantry. Kenny eats oatmeal about every morning. He's got me eating it probably half of the morning. There's 30 servings in here, but realistically, there's 15 because usually... Kenny eats a double serving. So I bought two of them. The Old Fashioned Oats. Great value. 42 ounces. And the one thing about the oats, uh, if I run, get to where I have none, I still have my Dollar Tree oats that sooner or later I know I'll have to kind of rotate them, but, uh, The kittens are jumping around. But in the meantime, they're still good on dating stuff. As many times as I've meant to pick up paper towels, like from the Dollar General or the Family Dollar, I always forgot. I almost forgot today. And it's one of them things you can go back and add on the cart till a certain time. I went ahead and just got the Great Value Everyday Strong Paper Towels. It says three triple rows equals nine 
can Paris to Sparkle two ply sheets and per 100 sheets it was cheaper I think it's like 90 cents can you tell yeah it's hot um, the only yeah paper towels I know I could do without them but I like my paper towels see back there I bought four is it 40 40 half liter bottles of water I bought four packs of 40 half liters bottles of water. Kenny and Eli like their water in a bottle. They've been having to drink it out of my gallon, you know, pouring it out of my gallon because I use it like uh, in my uh, ice maker when I have it running. But they've been drinking it because uh, they've been out of their bottled water. So we got enough to last us for a while. And that was it on a monthly pickup order from Walmart. And we still going to get to eat <laughs> in the month of July. You'll just have to wait and see because I'm going to try to take pictures of some of the stuff that I actually fix, even if I don't get a video. Because that's what I've been doing these past days is pulling stuff out and throwing it together. I hope you see something that might... Uh, interest you. I'm going to go get in the house and cool off because it's like a sauna out here. And I hope each and every one of you had a great 4th of July. I'm doing this the day before. Don't know if it'll post on it. So I'm going to say you. I hope you had or have a great 4th. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll talk soon. Thank you.